Good morning. I am going to be on the road today. I'm driving up to San Diego and I'm going to show you guys how you can stay eating keto while you're on the go. I know there's many people that say that they're too busy and that's why they can't eat healthy, but I'm going to show you how you can be healthy while you're on the road. So my first stop for breakfast is going to be Starbucks. That is a very popular place for everyone. Um, usually um, I'll stop there before work, um, but I haven't in a long time. So today I'm going to get an iced coffee with sugar-free vanilla syrup and heavy cream. And then I'm going to get the egg bite. So I'm driving there now and I'll show you what it looks like once I get it. So that was a mission. But I got the venti iced coffee, which is like I said, venti four pumps sugar free vanilla with heavy cream. You have no sugars and then you don't have any carbs. For the egg bites, I don't know if you've guys seen these before. I personally haven't had them, but I've seen them. And so, they just look like that. Um, and they only have nine carbs for both. So that's not too bad. Um, it's a little bit much for me personally, but it's all right, it'll do because we're on the road today. No time to pack anything. Here you go. So it has egg and bacon in it, so keto friendly. Mm, okay. This is mine, right? Mm -hmm. What does it have? Bacon. And I... So it is 12 12 and I just got to San Diego. Just going to be doing some sightseeing today, taking pictures at some cute places and see what else I can get into. So it is 1.17, it is time for lunch, and I came to In-N-Out. I'm gonna get myself a double-double protein style with no spread, so no sauce, and that is considered a keto lunch. So I'm starving right now, I'm gonna walk in. I came to this suspension bridge in San Diego. It's like this tourist place to see. Um, look at that. It's just hanging on by these ropes. So it swings a lot. Oh my God. I'm not even exaggerating. Like as you walk, you feel it moving. Okay, so I came to my next place of sightseeing and I just found it because um, 
Comic-Con, like downtown San Diego, is so busy right now. Like there's nowhere to park, nothing. Parking is $70 at the garage and your girl is not paying for that. So on Google Maps, I found Waterfront Park. And as I was driving by, like I've been here before, but to the boats area, like that's, I think that's the only place I've been to, to like the boats area and a restaurant um, by the water. But this is really nice. Like I got out of my car to put money in the meter and I was just looking around and I'm like, oh my God, this is so pretty. Like I'll show you guys right now. Like I see buildings and water fountains and it's like this nice park. And then I don't know, there's like statues and then like the boats are behind me. Um, so yeah, I love San Diego. Like I think it's a really like nice place to get away for the day, for the weekend. Um, it's just there's a lot to do, but definitely don't come when it's Comic Con or at least if the crowds don't bother you. I mean, they don't really bother me either, but the overpriced stuff is what's annoying to me. So yeah, it's been a really fun day so far. Um, I, it's three o'clock right now. I'm probably gonna have dinner either when I get home or on my way back. Um, but I'm thinking like I'm craving sushi. And I know that's not like fast food, like drive through, like what I had for breakfast and lunch. Um, but we'll see. But right now I'm craving sushi. It's like a really nice day and like for some sushi. Uh, but of course you can't have rice, regular rice on keto diet. So if anything, I am thinking of having like a salmon hand roll, um, which usually comes with like cucumber and avocado wrapped in seaweed with no rice so i might do that i might not uh, but yeah i'm just sitting here in my car alone just i don't know taking a little break admiring staying cool in the ac but i'm gonna get down right now and just you know sightsee with you guys So finally home from that long drive from San Diego. I am so tired. I was able to stop. Um, actually, no, I got home and I placed an order for sushi at the restaurant next door to me. Like I said, I was gonna get. Um, so I got some chicken teriyaki with a side salad for myself. And then I got my favorite, which is a salmon hand roll. But normally those come with rice, and this time I asked for no rice, so it just looks like this. It's just the seaweed, oops, seaweed and the salmon in there. And then the teriyaki sauce is on the side, um, but it's just chicken and salad. So some good protein, good way to stay low carb and keto. So if you ever go to a sushi restaurant, that's the way to do it. Um, I am hot. I'm going to eat. I have the AC on and I'm calling it a day. I hope that you guys were able to learn something as to, you know, the choices you can make at restaurants to eat better, at least low carb, um, if it's not, you know, that keto. Um, but the... The thing is that you can always eat healthy. So um, the only thing though is that I felt really hungry throughout the day. And normally when I make my own meals, I don't feel hungry. I'm actually pretty full. Um, but today I felt like I was starving and I didn't pack any snacks. So definitely pack some snacks if you are going to be busy at work. And if you're just going to be busy on the road, on the go, a good snacks. Um, to pack is like string cheese, um, strawberries, 
pepperoni. Um, if you are craving chips, you can do like chicharrones. Um, but yeah, so anyways, hope you liked this video. Let me know what other videos you want to see on my channel so that I can do some of those for you. Um, and just go ahead and subscribe and share this video with your friends.